you know, I said I was never going to date another racer, and then now I'm married to one. My name is Corey West. I ride for Saddleman Harley Davidson in the Mission King of the Baggers and Super Hooligans class. My name is Patricia Fernandez West. I'm your only lady competitor in the Moto America Mission Foods King of the Bagger, and I compete in the Mission Foods Super Hooligan class number 87. Yeah, I wouldn't say we're like super competitive as far as. I want to beat her, she wants to beat me, maybe, I don't know about that. It is cool that we both ride on the track at the same time together because it's nice to be able to talk about things when we're done. Obviously I can confide in her and, and help her if I see her doing something and you know she can always ask me questions and whatnot too so it's, it's pretty cool. King of the Baggers is kind of gnarly, you know, the bikes are so crazy and we don't get a lot of track time but Super Hooligans, I feel like she rides that bike maybe a little bit better and she's obviously a little more competitive in that class so it's nice to bounce things off of her and kind of see what she's doing and and then it's also fun to, to chase her around too. At the beginning of our relationship I think we struggled a little bit. I mean I was already a professional racer. Corey was a pro racer much more advanced than I was and he would try to give me some advice and I would tell him either you're my boyfriend or you're my coach. You can't be both. I don't think he realized how strong and stubborn I was at the beginning, but you know, being together, you have that amazing support system where we train and we work out together and we diet the same and we travel together and we understand the mentality that racing brings because you have good days where you need a, a pep talk or a kick in the butt and you have bad days and when you have someone there that just helps you out, it's good physically and mentally for you. I've beaten him twice up and down, just saying, not that I'm keeping count or anything, but we're extremely supportive of one another. And like, if I didn't win, I want Corey to win, or we want each other to do the best. But if we were on the racetrack and Corey had a chance to pass me, or I had a chance to pass him, we're taking it. The only times that it can get a little difficult was last year in the bagger race, Corey had crashed and I was behind it and I saw the crash and I just, you just get like a punch to the gut because you're so concerned, but I still have a job to do. I still have to race. And then when I came back the next lap, I was just so happy that he was up and walking and I kind of relieved a little bit. When you see a red flag and you don't see your partner, that's the first person you think about. Like, is Corey okay? Is he gonna be all right? It's, as long as there's a green flag, we're both just racers. You know, I kind of thought I was done racing and then she started bringing me to some of the races to watch her. And that kind of built my fire again and then uh, this whole bagger thing came around and allowed me to start riding again and it's been a family tradition for my family at least you know I'm fourth generation in my family motorcycle rider grandpa had a Harley shop in the 40s my dad rode super bikes in the 80s so it's really all I know I didn't go to college I went to the racetrack and then that also carried over into like my business now I don't have a normal job I've tried some things outside of the motorcycle industry and I just don't know it as well as I know motorcycles. So I started a uh, guided motorcycle dual sport service. Uh, Froggy's Moto Tours is my business name. It's something that I kind of started after EBR shut down. Had the whole summer to do anything but racing. So I bought a dual sport bike and just kind of started exploring my backyard and waterfalls, bluff overlooks, stuff like that, really scenic stuff and a lot of cool dirt roads to go with it. So I kind of had the idea, like I think more people would like to do what I'm doing right now and so I just basically created my own business and still riding motorcycles and making money so I don't come from a race background of any kind cars motorcycles nothing when I asked my parents if I could have a motorcycle they told me I had to move out of the house I was 25 before I did my first track day you know it was it was a lot different you know I started probably how most women did I, I was dating a guy and I would ride on the back of his bike and it absolutely terrified me and I was like I need to learn to ride my own bike and I don't think there's anything that instills more confidence than a, in a woman than being able to ride your own motor motorcycle. There's so much freedom behind the handlebars and I can't explain where the drive came from or how I, I got to the level that I did, but I just wanted to ride motorcycles. I just wanted to be at the racetrack. I just wanted to go fast. And you're never more present and more alive than you are on a racetrack. It's just life is one turn at a time, one gear at a time. 
and that freedom you get behind the handlebars is why you know everyone goes to rallies and rides and rides across the country so proud to get a lot of accolades being a woman but I'm not in this sport because I'm a woman you know this is one of the only sports left that's not sex divided there's no woman's class there's no men's class I get no special privileges being a woman like extra qualifying time or a lighter bike or anything like that being out there and proving yourself against all the men it's just a different type of confidence that it's inspiring and I love being out there. I love having accolades, women accolades, but I also love being out there and, and riding with the best and qualifying against the most experienced, best riders on factory bikes. Like that's a win. I don't care what anybody says, you know. We're the only married couple to ever race against each other in the same class and on the same team. So hopefully I can just get a little bit faster and share a podium with them.